Hi everyone, so I'm Aaron LeBay and I'm an artist, designer, and technologist uh, currently working on um, alternative mental health treatments using immersive media, particularly through music and sound. Uh, so as we all know, mental health right now is kind of a major issue, uh, especially with kind of all of us being trapped at home. Uh, so today I'm going to really focus on uh, explaining kind of my journey and my company's journey at creating a mobile and scalable uh, mental health solution using music and sound. Uh, so around five years ago, I became uh, very interested in, you know, music and live music in particular and how it, you know, has such an effect on the human brain. There's a ton of science that shows that music has a very compounding effect on our mental health, uh, particularly when we're in environments like this, uh, which unfortunately right now is kind of a distant memory, uh, hopefully not for very long. But, you know, when you're really immersed in music, uh, the brain does some really amazing things, and it, particularly when you do it on a rhythmic basis or you can kind of find the right content for yourself. Uh, music can really start to have a, even effects on kind of neuroplasticity or kind of how our brain adapts over time. So through my work as kind of a designer and an artist, um, really just experimenting, I was trying to figure out how I could take this effect and one, predict, you know, a way to, to get the, the right content for people uh, delivered very quickly, but two, how to deliver this in a variety of different uh, environments. So the first project that I worked on was an installation uh, that used brainwave reading technology and machine learning to figure out kind of the best balance of uh, sound frequencies and light in order to induce a state of meditation. Uh, over the couple of years that I worked on this project, I moved from just kind of base sound frequencies to music and actually finding the right musical balance with instrumentation and, and you know, uh, various sonic uh, timbral controls and things like that in order to, you know, really, prescribe this uh, almost downloaded meditation or this kind of meditative state without having to do the mental work of, of getting into that state. So this installation did quite well. We toured it um, across Canada, but really uh, as things kind of went on and um, as you know the, the COVID crisis hit, we really started to see the demand for a mobile solution and things that you can really deliver to people at home. So right around the time when COVID hit us uh, really badly back in March, uh, myself and my team at Lucid released this product called Vibe, which is basically taking the same technological groundwork that we've built with uh, the installation or that I kind of worked on um, as a solo artist into uh, this mobile product that we can deliver to people at home. Something that can do the same type of measurement through either a self-assessed psychometric or through wearables like an Apple Watch um, and deliver the same uh, kind of mental health results that we were seeing in the installation. Uh, this product actually just finished a, its first clinical trial, which is very exciting for us. Uh, we saw uh, statistically significant results on somatic anxiety over a 24 minute period, uh, where patients who had moderate to severe anxiety saw uh, that improvement in that short amount of time, which has been uh, pretty exciting for us to see. And right now we're, we're, our plan is to kind of expand that research into kind of the other mental health indications that uh, we're currently faced with right now. Uh, so I just wanted to leave it at that pretty quick, but. Um, please feel free to email me or visit our website to get some more information. Um, I'm here in Toronto, uh, but I'm definitely open to having a Zoom with anybody who's interested in chatting.